over I'm sipping on that soda, Coca-Cola Now she calling on my phone, my Motorola But yeah, that's my baby like she's sitting in a stroller Alright guys, what it do, man Today we're gonna be taking a look at the The new flight simulator gameplay From uh, my boy Xbox Squad You see, I'm gonna uh, shout him out You see his little channel right here Um you know, if you want to see the full video, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna we're going to watch it here, obviously. But, you know, go to his channel. I'm going to sub now. I hope you don't get mad at me using this content. Um, this is why the Series S is a beast. And first, I just want to look at this gameplay. And then I'm going to just talk about why I think the Series S is a beast. Man. Right. So, I'm going uh, to play a little gameplay. And then I'm going to tell you why I think this console is a beast. Why I think people are sleeping on it. And why I think if you don't have the money for the Series X, you should not feel ashamed about picking up the S, right? All right, let's check this out. <laughs> yeah, man, just joint just look beautiful man like look at the details like when i first seen this video man when i when i first seen this video i was just kind of like shocked like man this looks extremely good to be running on the 300 dollar system especially considering how you know a lot of pcs have trouble running this game so to see the series x i mean the series s just run this thing flawless um i think that is really dope man and uh you know of course sony the ponies is uh trying to send some hate towards you know xbox way you know this game has been on pc um woo -woo. but if you know a lot about this game you know this game is very cpu intensive um it, it just takes a lot of horsepower man and you need that type of headroom so the fact that they optimized Series X, I'm like, yeah, they should be able to optimize it, man. But the fact that they optimized this for the Series S, I think is really dope. Um, I'm happy Microsoft did this because it's going to send a message like, hey, look, man, developers who actually take time to develop this console and utilize all of its abilities will get a lot out of this out of this console, man. And, you know, I just think it's really dope because I got a lot of friends and uh and families that um that you know can't afford the series s right away i mean the series x or the ps5 right away so i personally think the series s is a hell of a gateway um into give me one second guys and go to this next video just so we can continue to you know just look at this footage man because i think it looks really good and when i seen this i was like man um I, when, yeah, when I seen this, I was like, man, I have to make a video on this, man, because I think this is something, you know, that, you know, should be talked about, man. And I uh, figure, why not me, man? I just think this is, um, I think this is a really good look from Microsoft. Um, I, I want to test the game out myself on Game Pass um, before, you know, see, see if I like it and stuff like that. See how complex it is. Um, you know, and if it's good, then, you know, I will, I don't mind spending the money to support them, you know, I, I support good games, you know, regardless of, um, have some difficulties with this video, but, you know, regardless of, um, you know, what they say about Xbox, people don't buy games, um, we buy games, but, you know, Xbox just make us make smarter decisions when purchasing games, because we don't have to run out and buy that new Dark and Light Dungeon and Dragon Dark and Lions game that was absolutely fucking dog water um so why those playstation guys was over there spending their hard-earned money on that we over here on game pass got to test it out for free seeing it was a piece of shit game and haven't touched it since so um yeah man that's dope man um probably won't get to watch the other video i don't know what's going on with my uh, internet my macbook but um yeah man the series s is a beast um you know i recently upgraded to the series x through a friend uh that hooked me up so i uh sold my series s so i don't have it no more but i had about two three months with the series s man i can say it is a very capable console metro exodus looked it good on there not as sharp but it still looked good uh forza looked it good on there um i just have a I, me personally man i, I just 
after having a console, I don't feel bad telling my homies, like, yo, bro, you gotta get that Series S. Go pick it up. You know, I, I don't mind telling my friends that because I know I'm not telling them to go get watered down piece of shit console like I originally thought it was going to be. Um, but that's not the case. Um, that's nowhere near the case. Um, man, it's just, it's a good time to be a gamer in general, man. No matter what side of the fence you're on, PlayStation, Xbox, man, both systems got some great games coming out. Um, both sides should be extremely excited, man, especially Xbox, man. Next week, we got Ascent dropping, Microsoft Flight Simulators. We got Hades dropping a few weeks after that. We got uh, Psychonauts. Um, speaking of Psychonauts, man, that game looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what's all the issues of um, these these people just hating on that game, man. Um, hey, that, 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 game, that game looks great to me, man. It looked like a... a a typical platformer man uh it got the same art direction as the original game and um i just think it looked good man uh i don't want to get copy striked by any of these guys man i just wish i could uh, maybe i'll bring up some screenshots man uh that's what i do man i just bring up some screenshots that way uh won't nobody you know try to strike me down so you know even though i show love to whoever content i use i don't want to get in trouble man but me personally, man, I, I I think I think this game looks good, man. You know, just even that screenshot right there, um, I think the game looked good. I think it's going to be a good game. I heard it's more than a ten-hour game, and it's not seventy dollars. So you know, some people paying seventy dollars for a cartoon game that's less than fifteen hours. That's not us over here. I'm not trying to send no shots. I'm not trying to be in that console war. I'm just saying, man. Being over here on Xbox and having Game Pass makes me really value my money. Like, you know, Death's Door just dropped a couple days ago. And I'm going to buy that game. Only reason I didn't buy it right now is because I got so many games I have to beat. But that is one of the games I was just talking to my lady about. And I was just telling her I think it's a dope game. I'm going to end up copying that. And it's only $20. Um, I don't know why they didn't put that on Game Pass. But I'm not mad they didn't put it on Game Pass, if that makes sense. Because... If I'm not mistaken, this guy, this game was made by a few guys. So that alone, man, you know, it's just it's a loop, man. It's like a top-down Zelda type of, um, you know, Souls type of game. And, you know, that's right up my alley. Um, you know, just in case some of you guys is wondering, you know, some of the games you should check out on your Series X or S. Um, the Mass Effect Trilogy, Metro Exodus, even the first two Metro games, because they got the 120 FPS boost. Um, and Mortal Shell looks great on the Series X. Pretty sure it looks just as good on the S. Um, Forza, obviously. Halo, man, it's just so many great games to play, and this is games that that that's already been out. So we're not even talking about the upcoming games, man. But um, I just wanted to touch on this, man, because I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on the Xbox Series S. Shout out to the Iron Lords podcast. Uh, like my man King David be saying, that's Little Man. When you see an Xbox Series S, call him Little Man. Like, that's Little Man. Little Man got a lot of power in him, man. So, don't sleep on him. Um, it's a quick video, man. Not super edity and all professional, man. It's just something quick I wanted to do with you guys and just show you guys. Like, man, because if you see a Series S and you, and you want a PS5, but, you know, it's so hard to get one. If you want to dip your feet into the next generation on a low cost, go for the Series S. Wait a year or two until the Series X or the PS5 is available. Then go get that. Until then, you're going to have Game Pass, Mad Games, uh, the next-gen speed, the next-gen frame rates. You know, uh, some some games, obviously, the graphics won't be 4K. It'll be probably 1440p or 1080p. But who cares? I mean, you know, if you're not playing on a big 4K, you know, Ultra HD TV, you know, most people are not. You know, even a lot of people that are is playing on cheap 4K TV. So I doubt you're really gonna see too huge of a difference anyway man but it's been real man shout out to the marley mafia shout out to everybody tuning in it's been real peace but it ain't over i'm sipping on that soda coca cola now she calling on my phone my motorola but yeah that's my baby like she's sitting in a stroller you act like you ain't noticed but i've been already told you i'm trying to play it smart now now that i got